Hi everybody, it's Chris Warner. I am here on my YouTube channel today to show you Madam Glam New York Gel Nail Polish. Now, the reason that I'm showing this to you, it's not what you're used to seeing on my channel, is they contacted me, Madam Glam contacted me and asked if I would show their product if they sent me a free kit. So that is what it is. I did not pay for this. It is just um, me showing you what it looks like and a little bit of a review. So I hope you enjoy this. And I think I'm, I'm actually looking forward to combining this with what I currently use for my manicures. But also if you are a gel polish person, Hopefully you'll get some good information from this. All right, so let's open the kit. So it comes in a um, like a plastic package, and it's so full of goodies that it was a little bit busted open here. Um, I also kind of opened it because I wanted to set up the light before I showed you guys. So it comes in nicely packaged with some nice foam here, so nothing breaks. And then you get the card here, which says, Welcome and uh, Madame Glam was founded with a rebellious mind and lofty objective to create salon quality, carefully sourced nail and gel polishes. We decided to bring together a community of passionate nail specialists to build one stop shop for all things nails. They are vegan, 21 free formula, cruelty free on animals and palm oil free. So they never test on animals. It's produced with the respect for the environment, free from 21 of the most toxic chemicals found in nail polish, and they don't use any animal-derived ingredients. So cute colors here, and they have codes for upcycling and recycling, which is really cool. So what they sent me was regular soak-off gels. They are curable under UV or LED lamp. They, we pride ourselves with a wide variety, wide range of colors and the best soak off gels in the industry. They are the best alternative to getting your nails done at the salon. They can be used on your natural nails, acrylic, poly gel, or even soak off builder gels. So they have amazing pigmentation and coverage, both home and professional use. No need to open the gel to see the color. The bottle caps of the gel indicate the true color. I'll show you all that in a moment and look at how many shades they have. If you guys want the perfect shade, I am sure that they have it. Textures is interesting too. I can't wait to check that out later. <clears throat> right now there's 800 colors available. So we have our application steps here. So we're gonna start, I've already prepped my nails. I filed them, pushed back the cuticles and alcohol to get the oils off. Um, I'm going to apply the base coat and cure, then apply one to two thin coats of gel color and cure after each one. Then you apply the top coat, cure, and you remove the tacky layer left at the end with a lint-free wipe and alcohol. Curing time, two minutes by UV lamp, 30 seconds by LED. They guarantee up to four weeks of perfect shine and wear. So let's get on to seeing what came in my pack here. I'm so excited. <laughs> so in here you get your Madam Glam um, mini UV LED light. It does give you the directions. It's a one button push. It's 60 seconds and 120 seconds. Um, let's see here. There's talks about just the specifics of the lamp. All right, so like I said, I already opened it. I have it set up next door here, just so you didn't have to watch me do that. So I'll just show you here what the lamp looks like. So it comes folded up like this, so it looks like it'd be fun for travel. And when you open it, all the little LEDs are underneath here, so that's cool. And this is where you plug it in. You get this plug with it. It has a USB plug, so you can plug it into your computer, or if you have one of those little um, wall plugs. Anyway, you know what I never did was plug in my phone. So let me just plug in this lamp real quick here. And then you just attach it to the little part right here. There we go. All right, so we'll just set that off to the side for now. 
I just want a quick plug in my phone, guys. The camera's going to jiggle here a bit. Sorry. There we go. Okay. So, oh, this will be interesting. My cord's in a good spot. Okay. So, in the kit, you get a soak off base coat. And then also the soak off no wipe top coat. And soak off gel polish. So they sent me three colors. Um, they did say I could pick some, but I don't think I was fast enough. So they sent me some that they thought I would like. So this one is called Pivot. And so you can see the color here. This one is up in the perfect pink collection, I'm guessing, because it has that name on there. Um, so this one is called Perfect Pink. That's pretty. It's like a Barbie pink. I love it. And then this last one is called White Lace, which I think I'm going to like this one best. I don't know. It has this little bit amount of shimmer to it, and it looks like it'd be good with my skin tone. So let's push this back here a little bit. And I like that the box is all cardboard, nice and recyclable. You pull out this little foamy stuff here. And you can keep your stuff in there too if you want. So we'll just kind of put this back here. If that fits, we'll see. And if this cord gets in the way on my phone, I'm taking it off and we'll just hope that we have enough. All right, so let's move some stuff out of the way here. Okay, so what do we want to do? So first thing is I have this permanent ridge in my nail. I know I've talked about it a million times. Um, it loves to split and crack when my nail gets long enough, so that drives me absolutely batty. So I was hoping that the, let's put all these guys out here, and I better keep them separate. I'll put the top coat on the side. Okay, so the base coat here, I was hoping that that would be a nice um, cure to the split. No matter what I wear, if it's gel polish, color straight, or anything else, I'm hoping that that will keep it from breaking. Um, I've tried many different things and they work okay, but I really want something that will last. So how do I want to do this? I'm going to push some stuff back here. Sorry, first time for this. All right, so let's try this base coat on this ridge of a nail. That drives me absolutely crazy. So I just want to kind of look at what this is like. So it's not too thick, it's just kind of like a regular polish. I'm probably not getting that where you guys can see it, but let's give it a try here. You're supposed to apply thin coats. Now I have used at home gel, but it's been many years and I didn't get to use it much. I'm just going to kind of hit that crack a little extra there. All right, so close that up tight and we're going to cure that. Now, should I be doing all my nails? If I was doing my whole mani, I'm still not sure, you guys. I just want to see what these colors look like. So I did just one push here, which is 60 seconds. And I know it said somewhere. Oh, there was a little instruction book. I'll grab that here for you guys. Why am I holding it up? I don't know. <laughs> Let me put that back down. Just get my thumb in there. And this is big enough that you can do your whole hand and do the uh, lamp and hit it all at once. So that's nice. They give you a nice big lamp. And it's even, it's called the Cali Mini lamp here. And I thought in here it said, the lights off. Take my hand out. Um, press on 67. I thought you're just supposed to use 60 seconds. Yep. On the nails. So I do have to tell you guys something I think I forgot. Um, Madam Glam has offered 
my customers, my um, watchers here, a 35% discount. I'm going to give you a code here for a, an, your entire order on the website if you purchase through my link, which I'll post in the comments. So again, um, the code is Chris35, and I'll type it in the comments. You will get 35% off your entire order. And it takes you directly to the website. The coupon code activates automatically at checkout. You will choose pay as you go if you don't want to become a VIP member. If you just like want to get this one time or something to give it a try. And hmm. Okay, so kind of tacky. If I remember right. That tackiness is. Let me see here, the directions for the base coat. The product must be cured with LED light. Sorry, I just gotta try to read this. 30 second per coat or UV light system, two minutes per coat. Okay, so this one was 60 seconds and this is an LED. So, okay, my first time using it, I'm touching it and it's kind of tacky. And I think if I remember, you have to wipe off, you have to wipe this off when you're done with it. So we're going to just keep going. All right. Okay. So let's give some of these colors a try here. So I think we'll try one of each of the colors. They're so pretty. So should we do all this? Oh boy, you guys. Because it is soak off, which means you can soak it off. I believe I read with acetone. So we're going to use these three middle fingers so we can get a good look at the colors. So you cap the ends. Okay, so that is the base coat this guy back over here bring our light in and we're gonna cure the fingers so the reason I did this one is I'm gonna do a whole mani later on and I just want to see what that's all about so you know what I should do is wipe it with that alcohol wipe because I think that's that layer that they talked about Remove the tacky inhibition layer left at the end. Wipe the nails with a lint-free wipe and alcohol. So we'll be doing that here. So what do you guys think? Have you ever used gel before? Would you ever use it? As you know, I am a huge Color Street fan. But this is fun to try and if anything too this top coat would be interesting I want to kind of use it with color street too just to see how things work so if I remember reading keep your stuff away from the light so maybe I should get it out of the way here it helps that these bottles are dark so the light doesn't get into them because if they were exposed to light it would be um, hard in the bottle. <laughs> so let's just do this, like it said, to remove that tacky layer. Yep, that did it. It's hard. It's nice. It feels cured. I like the feeling over that crack. I don't know how well you guys can see it, but it's feeling pretty good, pretty solid. Like it's not all you know, like it goes down here and doesn't go there. So I'm impressed with that part. All right, so let's try these colors. Move this back. Okay, this is the one I can't wait to try. Again, uh, white lace. I don't think it has a number. Pull my sleeve back here. Let's put white lace on the pointer. So, I don't know. I'm get you know how you always have to I don't hear any beads in there. I don't think you have to shake it, but we'll give it a twirl here. Let's see. Directions, the product must be cured with LED light 60 seconds per coat. 
All right, so that's what we're going to do. And I know they say one to two coats, so if you want to see what this looks like, it's a nice thick liquid. I wish you could see it dripping from the side, but I know I'll get it all over the place, so I'll show you here. Again, when's the last time I applied real polish that was liquid? It's been a long time. <clears throat> I'm guessing you obviously need to be very careful. Make sure it's not touching the skin and you wipe it off the skin before you cure it. Definitely not a professional here. You know what I should have did? Is I have those nail sticks. Maybe I should have put them on there first. <laughs> so there's one coat of that color. Right, let's do let's do this one next pivot this one kind of reminds me of like a, a putty maybe pink now if you can kind of see it has a nice thickness to it I'm sure there's professional nail gel people out there going oh my gosh she's doing this wrong and that wrong But I'm telling you guys, you're getting a real, true review of a first-time user here. Now, the other thing is, I'm trying to work around the light. <laughs> so I don't have my head right over my nail. If and when you guys do this on your own, you're going to be able to see so much closer and better. Super quiet, huh? Okay, so that pretty much blends in with my skin tone. So it's a nice neutral base if you want to build on it with other colors or an overlay or a glitter. So from their website, if you go to look at it, they have tons of, there's like cat eye colors. I think you use a magnet to make them do their magic. Um, there's glitters. All kinds of different fun stuff. So this one definitely looks more opaque. This is the perfect pink, it says. Oh, I like the brightness to this. What I need are some of those cotton swabs with those points on them to really clean up any sloppiness I'm going to have here. So a nice thin layer, which is hard for me to do because I'm that person who wants to get it done in one fell swoop. Oh, I can't turn to see the edge here. Obviously, if you do too thick of a layer, it's not going to cure. It'll be tacky and sticky. Sorry if I'm off camera. Trying to make sure that I have this stick here. Ugh. And a hair. Okay, a fuzz. Okay, are we ready for the light? I am. <laughs> okay, ready. So you're probably wondering what the heck is she going to do with these three different colors. I don't know. I'll have to see which one I like best. And maybe finish off my Manny with the colors or just leave them. We'll see how they look. I'm sure you could layer some of them that are more sheer. That would be fun. As you know, I love doing that. 
with my nail strips, putting different colors over each other. I always like an accent nail. All right, so 35% off code is pretty cool, you guys. Um, with Chris35 through my link. I'm telling you, if I like this base coat and the top coat, if it's nice and shiny and plumpy, I think I might stock up on that. And how fun would a glitter on top be? That would be cool, too. All right, light is off. Do I dare touch when they're... I don't know if I'm supposed to be touching them. But, okay, so here's the first round of my colors. A nice sheer of neutral and a nice pink, kind of blotchy. All right, so let's do a second coat here. The sticks I was talking about, these guys right here, I should have maybe just did it on there so you wouldn't have to watch me paint my nails. All right, please tell me. So this is the middle one. Let's make sure we're doing it right. Let's make this one sheer. Okay, this one was fairly opaque. Oh, you guys. <laughs> I'm sure the more I paint my nails, the better I get. Okay, get that off my skin. Where'd you go, Mr. Orange Stick here? there we go all right and then let's do this guy again white lace now when I very briefly had gel nails I did something similar to this um, I was starting to get into like, they had like fancy embellishments that you could add or you could buy like these um, tools to make like swirls or dots on your nails. That seemed pretty cool. Gosh, I'm tempted to make that thicker. It just kind of seems, but I'm sure you don't want it thicker because then it's gonna, not gonna cure right. so we don't tip it get the stick to clean it up so you wouldn't have to watch clean up if I did the sticks all right okay and then the last one is the pink perfect pink pretty opaque but it kind of I kind of streaked it so let's uh make that oh my gosh oh I know you guys are just cringing Chris what the heck get enough on there god I want to get it to the base of my cuticle but I know when you go to the salon they don't always get all the way down there too so okay clean this up without bumping our other nails. So the cool thing is uh, you can do them all and cure them all when you have the bigger lamp but you just got to be careful that you don't drop something or smear them. Alright so let's take a look. Arr, that's driving me crazy down there. Why is my phone dimming itself? Okay. Let's try to clean that up a bit. Good. See, I feel like it's still kind of blotchy there, but... Alright, yeah, this 
Hmm. Okay. All right, you guys, let's cure these. I have three nails done and it's almost bedtime. I have to finish the rest or decide what I'm gonna do. So what else is happening, you guys? I asked you if you've ever tried gel. Would Do you use like a top coat on your manis or a base coat? Any of these? It would be interesting to know. I like how they put these colors on the top here so you don't have to open them. That's pretty cool. I probably shouldn't have that there. 60 seconds always seems longer when you're literally just doing nothing waiting. I think I've heard that some people actually cure them twice. Maybe that makes them harder or something if they put thicker polish on. But all right, so what you guys think of the colors here. Why does my phone seem blurry? Anyway, okay, so let's put the top coat on and see what we see, right? Okay, here's the top coat. Ooh, nice and thick. Not sure if you guys can see that, but I'm excited. This looks like a nice plumper. All right. This is where you get that at home looking like a salon. Manny. Okay, try not to go too thick, right? And this is what I'm used to if I do use any liquid. It's just the clear stuff. A ridge filler or something. So that base coat's kind of like a ridge filler because I have definite ridges in my nails. And I am not seeing them come through on this gel. So that's pretty cool. Alright, and then they always say, cure the, get the tip here, finish the tip. All right, ready for the last part. Lights on. It gets a little warm under there. That is the light. All right, so things I would make sure I had is like either a an orange stick or a cotton swab. Um the alcohol wipe or like a, a lint-free cotton with alcohol to wipe the stuff, the tacky stuff off when you're done. A nice little um, paper here in case you spill. I should have my hand here. Oh, and then you just need your own plug thing that goes in the wall if you're not going to use your cell phone or um, computer. Maybe I should have put on three coats of some of those colors. I don't know. Okay, lights off. All right, are we ready? Why does it seem like my phone is not focusing, you guys? Okay, there we go. So first time, so be nice. <laughs> yep, I, I missed a little bit here. And again, it's because I can't like stick my head down and see everything, but... Not bad. Ooh, that's nice. Okay, this isn't sticky now. The top coat is nice. Remember how the other ones are sticky? And here, no wipe top coat. That's got to be what that means. Soak off, no wipe. You put it on and you're done. I love it. 
So what's your favorite color? Again, pinky is white lace. Middle one is pivot. The last one is perfect pink. All right. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, again, if you like wearing gel polish, let me know. It's kind of fun. Um, otherwise, I'm going to try to incorporate it with my other Manny um, way of putting on nail polish. All right. Thanks, guys. Have an awesome day. Bye.